Firstly, a warm welcome to the club. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Your initial reaction to, to making the move across the Midlands to here? Yeah, it happened pretty, pretty quickly yesterday, really. Um, got a phone call, um, said that both clubs wanted to do it, and I was more than happy. Saw, saw the Blues beat Derby a couple of weeks back and thought, you know what, they, they look strong and they're going stronger, so why not be here and, and help them push? Why not? I mean, were you a little bit surprised that maybe Derby let you go to one of their possible rivals for, for promotion? Yeah, that, that was a question I put to them this morning, and back in October I spoke to them and they said they turned the Birmingham down one because of that reason, but they've, they've, they believe that, you know, it's, it's best for me. They've, I've spoke to them and they've said, listen, go out, do well. Don't do too well, but you know it's for me, and I've asked I've asked to leave because you know I need some football. I've not played this season, so mm. they understood that and they've they've done well for me. I mean, you I presume you've already met the, met the manager in in person, have you? Yeah, I mean, I passed by him at the derby game the other day, but we haven't really spoke properly. But I'm sure I'll meet him at the medical soon, and mm. we'll have a good chat about what he wants from me and hopefully come in and help the lads. Yeah, I mean, you say you've, you've not played that many games so far for Derby this season. I think it's, it's only five or six and most have, been, have been off the bench. I know one of them, obviously, was, was back in August. It was here, you came on as a, as a late sub, so you're used to St Andrews' as sort of surroundings, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, been played here a couple of times. Came last year, Christmas time as well, which, which was with Derby. So, yeah, familiar with the surroundings, and I hear there's some great lads in the dressing room, so I'm happy to be to be here and, and push on. I mean, obviously, in terms of your sort of specific playing position, you, you, you're very good. You can, you can play a, a number of different positions. Have you, you know, it's mostly in defence, I presume, but also in midfield as well. Um, yeah, it was it was back in my Stoke days. I, yeah. I managed to play right midfield or or even up front at some point. But I think that was just filling in. I think defensively, centre half or right back is as well. I want to be taken serious, so I'm here to be to be a defender only right now. Because, I mean, in terms of uh, being a fullback, I mean, you're quite tall for a fullback as well, so that's quite useful, you know, the lights of corners and things. Yeah, it? yeah, definitely get up in the box in both areas, so hopefully I can bring that to the table. I mean, obviously, you join in the sort of Birmingham City at sort of quite an exciting time. I mean, I think it's it's four, four, four wins and draw out the last five and on, on a sort of upward spiral. It's, it's almost the perfect time to join a club, isn't it, when they're on an upward curve rather than on a downward? Yeah, it's good to see, you know, a couple of signings have been brought in as well, so it's good to see that the they're believing in, in the manager and the lads. So I was happy to come, you know, help the lads any, any way we can. And, and that push is real. There's some, there's some good teams up there, but there's no reason why Birmingham can't keep going and going. And I've seen the fixtures up and there's no reason why we can't, you know, keep going and, and win the next couple of games anyway. I mean, I know you didn't play in the 3-0 in the game at, at Pride Park, but did, have you, you seen, did you see the game or have you seen it? Yeah, I was on the bench for Derby, yeah. Right. And as I say, we, Derby, I mean, they looked all right, but you were so, Birmingham was solid, mm. looked well, well organised, and the lads worked for each other, mm. and that's what I liked. So, as, as soon as I heard this last night, I thought, you know what, yeah, definitely do this. I mean, obviously, sort of Birmingham, it's not a team. I mean, for financial concerns, possibly in, in the past, but it's not a team necessarily of big sort of star names. I know we brought in Fabrini this week, um, but it's it's very much a sort of team that's sort of based on working hard for each other and, and, and grafting with a bit of skill thrown in as well. Yeah. Is, is that something that you're happy to be part of? Yeah, definitely. You see what the manager's built and he's built a hard-working team that will work for each other. And I think that's, that's the main thing to get out of this championship. You've got to have a, a strong, strong base. A manager knows what, what he wants from his players and you can't go wrong from there and that's shown already. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, the, say there's only sort of 19 games to go, but you, you probably you don't know the sort of real promotion until probably sort of five or six games, do you really? No, I mean it's still wide open. You you saw that, you know Middlesbrough. You thought you'd think they were you'd run away with it after a couple of weeks, but now they've they've dropped off and it changes every week. So there's no reason why the Blues can't be stay, staying in the mix and even be pushing mid-April to be to be securing their spot in the playoffs or even better. Who knows? Yeah, I mean obviously, I mean the manager said previously that um, he, he likes players that, that maybe have a bit of sort of stake in the club, i.e. At the end of, if it's a loan, at the end of a loan period, if, if everyone's in agreement that it could be made sort of longer term, is, is that something that you would obviously see how things go, but something to consider in the future if all we're in agreement? Yeah, I mean, we've not spoke about that. It was, it was literally last night we, we want to do this deal for me to come and play football, see how it goes. It's a great club, it's a great city to be in, so I can't see why not if everything was, was agreed and, and spot on, then why not, yeah. I suppose it's handy as well, you're not having to move house and uproot and everything, are you either? Yeah, I'm still in Stoke. I was travelling from Derby, so, you know, it's, it's an easy route. We've just come from Stoke as well, so 
it's not a bad drive, I don't mind doing it, yeah. And just obviously for those sort of Birmingham fans that are maybe not sort of familiar with, with his sort of playing style, how would you sort of describe it? Um, just versatile, you know, strong, quick, and just love to defend, mm. love to head the ball, love to block tackles, and just the old school yeah. type of get yourself in and, and show a bit of heart, show, yeah. wear it on your sleeve, that's sort of kind of, I hope to, the, the fans will see anyway. Do you get the same sort of kick as strikers getting scoring goals in, in terms yeah, of sort of turning yeah. it around? Heading it when the striker's just about to score or tackling or something, that's, that's what defenders live for and that's what I want to be back at. Yeah, and obviously, I mean, I'm sure you've been asked this, this, this sort of lots of time, but um, just, just find on, on, on your sort of throwing, is that another area of your game that's, that's sort of quite appreciated? You've got a very long throw, haven't you? Yeah, it's been known. A um, couple of years ago I used it, but when I came, went to Derby, it was, it was a bit different. They didn't really use it much, but mm. I'll, needed, if needed, I'll, I'll be, yeah, we'll be setting up for a, a, a set piece and that'll be a throw in, definitely, yeah. And then obviously this, this Saturday sort of coming up, um, Bristol City away, um, a team struggling towards the sort of bottom end of the table, but having said that, um, turned Middlesbrough over two games ago, so, I mean, it just, it just shows, doesn't it, you know, you can't go down to a relegation threatened team and just expect your three points, can you? No, you can't do it with any team in this league. It's it's from one to 24, anybody can beat anybody and you've got to turn up every single game and be on your, on your game and make sure you're prepared right and prepared, organised and, and mentally strong. And There's no reason why we can't do that on Saturday, go down there, but it won't be easy.